Hello and welcome to Short Story Scene. I'm your host, the storyteller, and here we have a tale called Apathy and Enthusiasm by Herman Melville, 1860-1861. Well, the calm and cold November, and the winter white and dead, and the terror dumb with stupor, and the sky a sheet of lead, the events had come resounding, and the cry that all was lost, like the thunder cracks of messy ice and the intensity of frost bursting one upon another through the horror of the calm and the perilous of arm and the anguish of the heart and the hollowness of the dearth and the appealing of the mother to brother and to brother not in the hatred so to part the fissure in the hearth growing momently more wide then the glances twain in the fates, and doubt on every side, and the patience under gloom, and the stoniness that waits in the faint of doom. So that the winter died despairing, and the weary weeks of Lent, and the ice-bound rivers melted, and the tomb of faith was rent. Oh, the rising of the people came the spring of the grass, and the rebounding from dejection, the Easter came to pass. And the young were all elated, and hearing Sumter's cannon roar, they thought how it tamed the nation and the age that went before. And Michael seemed gigantical, and the arc fiend but the dwarf, and the terrors of adverse, and the striplings flung and scoff. But the others with the foreboding mourned the days forever over, and recall the forest pro- proverb. The Iroquois old saw grief in every gray beard when young Indians lead the war. And that can concludes our tale, Apathy and Enthusiasm by Herman Melville.